sugar is a natural part of a balanced diet in a healthy lifestyle and a day-to-day -day pleasure. Here at Nordzucke, we are very proud of our sustainable product from nature, which we make to high standards and market internationally. Our sugar plants are located in several northern and eastern European countries. Sugar has been produced from sugar beet in Europe for more than 200 years. But how do we turn beet into sugar? It all starts in spring. The fields emerge from their winter slumber and are prepared for sowing. Nothing is left to chance. Every year, farmers work with their Nordzucker crop consultants to decide where each beet variety will grow best. The results of ongoing tests help find the best variety for each site. Sugar-rich beet needs a balanced nutrient supply. By carrying out regular soil tests, the farmer checks whether the soil contains enough potassium, nitrogen and phosphorus in particular. Once the soil has the right composition, the beet fields are precisely sown by machine. One hectare of land can hold up to 100,000 beet plants. It doesn't look like demanding, but the beet is pretty demanding. It needs good, nutrient-rich soils and enough moisture, which it can extract from deep in the ground thanks to its long taproot. It loves moderate temperatures and plenty of light. Without sunlight, the beet cannot produce any sugar. Within the beet's green leaves, Sunlight converts the carbon dioxide from the air, along with water and nutrients from the soil, into sucrose. The beet then stores this sugar as an energy reserve in its roots. The body of the beet plant can absorb around 20% sugar. It also generates oxygen, with one hectare producing enough for 100 people to breathe for a whole year. The autumn beet harvest marks the start of the sugar beet campaign. Depending on the yield, this lasts about four months. Harvesting, transport and beet processing in the plant, everything runs to a precise schedule around the clock. The beet harvesters work out in the fields, large-scale, high-tech machines. These gently remove the leaves and lift the beet with minimum damage out of the ground. The harvested beet plants are stored in large clamps on the edge of the field. On the delivery date, the beet loader appears on the scene. This machine picks up clamps at their full width. It pre-cleans the beet and loads it onto waiting transport vehicles. Valuable soil remains on the field. This cuts down on the number of journeys and the beet is pre-cleaned when it lands in the trailers. The beet loader can handle about 250 tonnes of beet an hour. The beet is then usually taken by lorry to the sugar plant's beet yard. During the campaign, all Nordzucker plants work non-stop around the clock. The beet stores may seem huge, but the storage space and beet stocks only last for two processing days at almost all our plants. Each sugar plant has its own power and water supply, its own wastewater treatment plant and its own kiln. Here, limestone is fired to produce what is known as milk of lime, which is used later on to extract non-sugar substances from the juice we use these extracted non-sugar substances to make carbolime, a popular fertilizer and soil conditioner used in agriculture. But let's come back to the plant, where the beet plants are just being placed on the incoming beet scales. Here, every delivery is weighed and subjected to spot checks. How clean is the beet? How high is the sugar content? And what important ingredients are present? The results of the analysis at the beet test center determine how much the farmer is paid for their beet. The processes at the plant are largely automated. The beet is unloaded and taken by conveyor belt to the washing facility. Here it is washed thoroughly in rotating drums before going any further. Via conveyor belts to the next stop, the slicing machines. Here, sharp rotating knives slice the beet into fine, sweet-tasting cossettes. The way goes on through the cossette mixer into the extraction tower where the sugar is released from the plant cells at a water temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius to produce the raw juice. 
The desugared beet cossets are used as the raw material for animal feed. Following pressing and drying, they're transformed into cossets or pellets. The raw juice is still cloudy and has a sugar content of up to 18%. In order to remove these turbidities and other non-sugar substances from the juice, the milk of lime produced at the plant is added, as well as carbon dioxide. In large tanks, the raw juice is cleaned and then filtered at several stages. What's left is the clear, bright yellow clarified juice. But how is this transformed into white granulated sugar? It's all a matter of patience. Firstly, we boil it some more, or as they say in the trade, evaporate it. Evaporation is performed over several stages of the evaporation station, with the steam generated always used to heat the next stage. We carry on until we finally produce thick juice, with a sugar content of about 67%. Sugar and cassette production is an energy and water intensive process. Innovative technologies and techniques are therefore used to optimize energy consumption and ensure sparing use of natural resources. To great effect. We now use about half as much energy for sugar production as we did in 1990. All processes at our plants are sustainable and centrally managed and monitored from the control center. Everything is recycled. Even our waste water is biologically cleaned and returned to the water cycle. Therefore, we use sustainable, climate-friendly and certified processes at all stages of production. After all, we want our sugar to continue being a safe product from nature. But back to the heart of the plant, the sugar house. Things are getting exciting. The thick juice produced by evaporation is now further evaporated at low pressure and temperatures of about 70 degrees Celsius. Crystallization begins by adding fine granules called seed crystals. Further thickening causes these crystals to continue to grow until they reach the desired size. The sugar crystals are still covered in residual syrup and so they shine a golden yellow. They are spun in centrifuges to separate the syrup from the crystals. And finally we have crystal clear sugar granules. And why does sugar look white? It's quite simple. Light. Light shines through the transparent crystals, making them appear white. The finished sugar is then dried, cooled and stored in sugar silos. Our quality assurance is stringent. All stages of production are tested regularly to ensure unwaveringly high quality. Depending on the market, we produce up to 3 million tons of sugar a year. About 7 beet plants are processed for each kilo. We supply the lion's share, more than 80%, to industry, in line with client specifications, where it is used in the production of food, beverages and baked goods. We process just under 20% of our sugar to make various varieties in our household sugar range. These are then packaged for food retailers. Classic products include household sugar, finely ground granulated sugar as powdered sugar, preserving sugar used in the making of jams and jellies, sugar syrups, tea sugar and sugar cubes. We provide you with a high quality product one that is produced in the region, perhaps using beet that was grown near to where you live. Sugar from Nordzucker.